Dan George thought 2013 was going to be a rebuilding year, but his Long Branch Green Wave surprised him with a 7-3 record. 2014 brings talent moving around the Long Branch depth chart. Hunter Bailey is moving from defensive end to linebacker. The three-year starter is a Division I prospect. The other big mover is another recruiting target. Dimir Willis goes from fullback to tailback in the Green Wave's multiple eye attack. With a big offensive line blocking for him, Willis is poised to be one of the Shores' top rushers. I'm very excited. Uh, last year, my first year playing fullback, uh, running back in my primary position. So going back to running back, I think I'm going to do great things there. I'm more comfortable at that position. Jordan Rodriguez tore his ACL in February, but thanks to hard work and rehab, he says he'll be ready to go in week one and run the Long Branch offense. We have a more experienced line than we usually have had. Uh, Damir is a great back. You know, he gets it down every down. We actually have some uh, pretty big receivers that suppose should do some damage this year. Long Branch ranked fifth in the shore in points allowed, surrendering just over 10 points a game. The Green Wave have a salty schedule, to say the least. It starts in week one with Red Bank Catholic, and the non-conference slate has no gimmies on the schedule. Our out-of-conference games are Carteret, who we lost to in the playoffs last year. Then we have um, Matawan, who is a perennial um, playoff team. and. Our other out-of-conference game is Rumson Fairhaven, which uh, was state champs. So it's you know it's 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 a tough out-of-conference. It's a tough in-conference. I think you put them together. I you know I would put that schedule up against anybody's. Um, so we've got to be prepared. We've got to be focused, and we've got to try to be healthy through the season. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to ShoreSportZone.com.